Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to do a real quick video regarding this tiny, 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 tiny 116th islet. There are 116th, they're uh, uh, used in many places for decorations and also I've seen them in electrical like gadgets and stuff. A lot of people use this. Um, now, um, the die that we're gonna use is totally different than the regular die that we use. The other dies, if you see in the upper dies are spring-loaded, that means that the mail goes on the top. And if you have washer, it goes on the bottom. Now on this one, it's done totally different. Means I have to pick it up with one of these owls so you could see what I'm talking about. This will be coming down like this. Okay, this is the way it's gonna work. Meaning that when we're gonna put them on here, and many people calling for this, and I'm sorry, I I have a bunch of videos that are uh, being planned to make, but I'm not doing, I mean, I'm trying to, I don't even know where it goes. See, it's gonna be like this, that's the way. And now, let me just do one. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do one and I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this and I'm gonna tell you why. So, uh, so it comes from the top, right? And if you if you do a close up, look, this is the top and this is the bottom. See, you see the bottom is so ugly, mm -hmm. right? The reason is because these are long. This could, only fold over just a little bit, not all the way down. Otherwise, it's gonna crack. The iron is gonna crack. By the way, these are brass, meaning they're not gonna rust. So, we what we're we gonna do? What we wanna what I wanna show you guys that how to do it. So it would be perfect like this. You see this one that I did on my and the back. You see. Even though it's uh, a little bit uh, rough, but when you do it on some double fold, it's gonna be much better. So it all depends to the thickness of your fabric. First of all, you must make a hole on this one. And what I use is like, if I wanna make a hole, see like, I just wanna show you guys. See this on a fabric, look at the back, how beautiful it's done, because it's four layers. If you wanted to do it on a tiny one layer, which a lot of people try to do, it was gonna, it's gonna give you a problem. So what do you do if you have only one layer? You could make washers. A lot of people make washers, tiny, tiny washers, and put them through. Now, how do you make a hole in there? You have, I'm sure you've seen these screw punches on our website. They come one, two, three, four, five, six sizes, and it's very easy to use. And also this one. I'm gonna tell you the difference between these two, if you wanna know. So just make a hole with one of these. When you you hear the noise, it means it's done. Go ahead and put it through here. You see that? Put the tiny eyelets on top. Press it down. I'm waiting it in a perfect place. And see, back and forth, perfect. Now, you might wanna, when you're coming down, make sure it's coming down exactly on the spot. Sometimes when you push, make sure you got the screw is tight, all right? So one more time. Make a hole, by the way, these are, you could adjust. I'm sure it's in this. Okay, we have it on our website. Make a hole. On this item, this is something that you have to make a hole. Even when I make the hole, I, I don't see the hole. Imagine that. Okay, so see this one tiny, tiny, tiny male part comes up. It's like a nail, right? You see that? You see that part? Mm -hmm. Okay. These tiny things that we do here, like eyelids, it, you really need to have to have uh, a lot of... Uh, patient, right? Do you know where I'm going with this? Yes. 
So we call I, uh, like, see, like this, right? And when this is coming down, we're gonna make sure that it's down and then up. This is the back, this is the front. And it's soft, okay? So up, this is the way it's gonna come down again. All right, this is the way it's gonna come down. This eyelid, which is one six and has many colors. Copper, gold, antique brass, antique brass silver, gunmetal. Now, for those people that wanna know how is this thing is working, I think I've shown it to you guys before. Uh, let me just show it. It comes with five tips. It's a screw punch. The difference between these two punches are that this one you could go any place on the fabric, right? With this one you could just go in, let's say, this much. One inch, one inch and a half. Okay, to make your hole. But with this one, imagine you have a huge fabric and you just want to go ahead and punch somewhere. You just take that down and Go and up, and you see that hole. Are you on cue today? I am. You're not. <laughs> I was going get that hole. See how I do it? Mm -hmm. Do a wide, wide shot, so they could see that I'm pushing it down. From up here, by the way, Jasmine has been great, helping me out with all this stuff. So, it's a tiny hole, but if you look at the back, all of them came out, you see? Mm -hmm. You see all of these are so these are screw pens. These are great tool to have if you don't want to buy one of those die color gold than on this one. Um, again, totally different type of dies than the other one that we have. Uh, David from goldstartool.com. Thank you so much for watching.